Don't think too soon. Okay. Oh. oh. What did oh, you man. think was gonna happen? Why is she so shocked? Yeah, why is she so shocked? Like, <laughs> she really thought she was gonna land and just surf it right out. Yeah, but it's know? such a good, simple idea. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Don't think, just do. I might get that tattoo. Don't think, just do. Our guest today is an MTV legend, Jersey Shore's very own Nicole Fifty Police. It's hard to believe after all these years that this is the first time we're doing this I, Isn't show. this weird? Yeah. yeah. This is long overdue, I feel. It, it is, and, and, and thank you for, for making it out here. I know probably harder than ever, right? You got three kids now, so it's like, why Yeah, but it's actually here? like a break for me, and I had a lot of wine this past couple days. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, are you going to have your kids go into the Jersey Shore for their whole lives? We have a shore house now, but yeah. it's not like the show. Like, we're not raging. They're not taking shots yet. <laughs> we're yeah. just like, yeah. yeah. It's very classy, my shore house, when yeah. it comes to, like, my family. But once they hit, like, 18, I'm in trouble, I feel. Oh, man. <laughs> Look, this first category is dedicated to those that, that are all about that Jersey lifestyle, shore to the core. Take a look. Me and her had beef. Yeah. She tried to f with me. She was like, you want a box? Oh. I was like, bitch, I don't even want the gloves. I don't even want the gloves. You see this sh Oh, scars yeah, for life. Brush it off, homie. Brush, yeah. it, Brush off. it off. <laughs> Let me get that bitch again. She just got her ass beat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no doubt. Oh. oh, my God. Go, go, go. Oh, oh. oh my God. Man. <laughs> what was your score? Yeah, see a pretty good score. <laughs> Not bad, I've seen worse. Come on, give me another rep, Grandma. Come on, Grandma. Grandma. Come on, oh, Grandma. No. What do you want from me? I'm 103 and a half. I'm not a spring ticket. Come on, Grandma, no excuses. Come on, Grandma, no excuses. I'm tying. I'm 103 and a half. I'm 103. She's pretty lively for 103. Man, yeah. like, I can only hope I'm being forced into a, a, a workout at 103. <laughs> Come on, Grandma, you can do better than that. Talking, tubby. Oh, my God. Tubby. Tubby. Describe uh, who came up with the concept of meatballs and who is Team Meatball? I was fighting with Ron one time and he called me a meatball because he was like, oh, you're a fat meatball. I'm like, cool. And then me and Dina were like, we're Team Meatballs. Like, f this. Yeah. And now meatballs are just known to have a good time and, you know, they like to get drunk. Okay, look. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize it was like, like Ron being a d Yeah, but you know then I mean? turned it on him and I was like, Team Meatball. Yeah, f that. Yeah. Mm. Everybody in this category right here uh, knows what it's like to be a drunk meatball. Take a look at sauced meatballs. <laughs> Dress as a cow? <laughs> is there a saddle on it? Oh, this seems kind of okay. Oh. Yeah, I thought that was gonna end in like throw up, not falling over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you see it? What'd you think about, baby? What'd you, you think it? about? No, I'm good. She good, but she said she's good. She look like Hellboy. <laughs> 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 Dude, one more devil horn, and that's it. What is going on? No, I'm good. She's good, but she got a devil horn. <laughs> there you have it for sauced meatballs. Our guest today is one of the newest members of the Jackass crew and one of the stars of one of the greatest films ever created, Jackass Forever. Welcome, the one and only Poopies. Hello, everyone. Man. This is a dream come true. I'm so stoked to be here. And hey. Yeah, let's let's have some fun. Hey, I'm glad you're here. And it felt so good to just say poopies. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, and yeah, and, and I think that your willingness to put yourself on the edge of danger 
and be called Poopies <laughs> is the perfect combination, man. Yeah, you know, it's, I worked hard to get that name. <laughs> Let's talk about it. What did you do to become the great Poopays? <laughs> so it's a crazy, crazy story. So when Jackass first came out on MTV, on their, their MTV series, it was just every Friday night, 10 p.m. We were at my friend's house watching it. So I think that next day, we wanted to do something stupid. <laughs> so my friend's like, Poopies, before my name wasn't Poopies, my friend was like, Sean, you should go and take a poop in the street. Yeah. <laughs> and okay. I was like, so I, was, I went to this intersection and I took a, a poop in the intersection. <laughs> we ended up like getting the cops called on us and, but we went to school the next day and I was the kid who pooped in the street. Yeah. So, so you were a legend. I was kind of a legend, Everybody. but I was like, what did I, I was like, what did I just get myself into, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm the kid who pooped in the street and no chick wants to even talk to me anymore. Like, hey, but yeah. you know, it was a sacrifice and, um, yeah, and uh, in the movie Jackass Forever, uh, you get struck in the face by a snake. Yeah. Uh, how was it? Dude, it was like one of the most like, messed up things, because, <laughs> dude, I'm so terrified of snakes, and when they said uh, we're playing the quiet game, and I go, what's the quiet game? Well, we have to dress up like a mine, and you can't say anything. Did you try to say, hey, this ain't really my thing, I don't like snakes? <laughs> no, I, you can't say that, dude, you yeah, can't. You can. yeah. <laughs> Everybody in this category right here, they are also getting face to face with snakes. Take a look at snake out sessions. Snake out sessions. Yeah, he got a piece of his brain. <laughs> you can see instantly. Dude. It's like when they get stuck in you, it's so much worse. Look at the way he screams instantly. Not not all of them are like this, you know. Some are really, really boring. Man, you uh oh. He about to choke him out, huh? Uh oh. Uh, well, look, he's not really feeling you right now. Yeah! He's like showing off to his chick. Watch this, babe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 my God. oh, oh. Who told her to do this? And why would you wear this bag to look like a snake <laughs> to this event? He saw your backpack oh strike. Yeah, God. like, sure, you killed us off and you were kissing me. Oh, my God, oh. dude. That Man. thing's not letting go either. No. Yeah, you just don't want to ever, ever be in that position. We'll be right back with more ridiculousness. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Welcome, Tammy Roman. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Hey, normally I catch a hug, but like I've just never seen you anybody know, use it you like see, I that. I had to use it. I had to step back. I had to feel it. I had to give you freedom, and, and I thought I thought maybe you'd still see me though, right? <laughs> So like when you when it was like let's get it right and then I'm like man give, well, her, give know, her some I space. Well you know I to get started. I'm ready to get Look, it going. And, and I, I'm on ridiculousness, bitch. I'm excited. <laughs> and I mean that in the most endearing look, way. Look, look, I took it in the most endearing <laughs> way. You were on the Real World, one of the very first seasons, right? Yes. And I was I was watching it this morning to reflect. Were you? I was. <laughs> And really? I really was, right? Because I forgot how I, I forgot how significant it was in those first two seasons. Yeah, it was it was different. You know, like now everybody's a reality star. When we started, there wasn't even reality TV. Right? It's a whole different world it's these days. It's a whole days. different world though. It is. And how was like like when you first moved into that house together? I was scared. Cause you know, I was 22 at the time we moved into the house and I, you know, was living on my own, but like moving in with people that I didn't know, you know, that I would never move in with. <laughs> let's be clear on that. I was, I was kind of scared, you know? I so. get it, I get it. Just like everybody in this next category. Uh-oh. Uh, because this is more than just the real world. It's the two real world. Take a look. Oh God. World's deadliest catch, the apartment hey, edition. How's it going? <laughs> oh, wow. Get back in the studio and make more Nickelback songs. <laughs> Vaporoni and cheese. Don't <laughs> vape on the pizza. <laughs> Hell no. Don't vape on the pizza. 
Welcome home. You studying? Zap neck. Oh, oh, that would have stunned, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I told you, bro. Ah. With me, it's your World of Warcraft. Dude, I, I told you what was gonna happen. <laughs> Look at this man. He's like a lit ass child, don't he? His parents are so disappointed right now. You know what I mean? He had a Dale anyway. <laughs> Where you going? Fucking inside us. Oh, a lot going on. That we couldn't see it. Okay. <laughs> Nothing was hanging. Hey, and it wasn't like the the camera person wasn't trying, right? Like, <laughs> he's like, oh, <laughs> zoom, zoom. Listen, listen. <laughs> oh, like he was like one shot away from some dong. Yeah. <laughs> All right, our guest today is one of the hosts of the world famous Breakfast Club, star of his very own show, Uncommon Sense. He is the prince of pissing people off. Welcome, Charlemagne the God. <laughs> Charlemagne. Yo. What, what is it about the Breakfast Club? Like, why is it when they get on there, people just open up? Yeah, because I think that, you know, you, you get back the energy you give out. So, like, I try to be a real honest person, so I get real honest reactions. Yeah. No. Yeah, if I tell somebody they're whack, they don't want to hear that, so they like to come in there and defend themselves. Right. So what happened with you and Baby, man? It's Man, it's... that was a great moment, man. Yeah, man. You can't pay for that kind of stuff. You can't. And, but that and... just comes from me being honest, because historically, I would always say, why would you even sign the Birdman? Because he doesn't pay his artists. Like, you've seen that? Yeah. So he said that I was messing up his business. And then, you know, right before he walked in the studio, he was listening to Eminem Lose Yourself. Yeah. And he came in and lost no, himself. No, no, bullsh**. <laughs> I, I believe you slightly. Yeah. What, true story. Yeah. Uh, and it was a moment, it was a, a moment that became like one of the most significant moments of 2016. Yeah, you can't pay for that kind of stuff. It became part of the ether, so we figured let's set this, set this first category off with a simply titled, put some respect on my name. Take a look. Yeah! Respect the queen. Damn right. What's your name, Brandy? Okay, good, Brandy. What time you get off work? What time you get off work, bitch? What time you get off work? Oh, man, she's getting up. The, the black dude already knew he left work early. He said, he said bitch. She about to go on. Because he knew it was about to be a moment, and he got out of the way. You got to have those kind of spider senses. Hey, man, I've been meaning to tell you something, too, yo. Shut the up. She was asleep, too. She was asleep. She woke up for that. Ma, I've been meaning to tell you something, too. Shut the up. And he thought he would film it and get away with it, and she was like, no, I ain't sleeping. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a customer, I'm and you have offended me. I just, I'm like, crazy <laughs> eyes. She's crazy. Man, it goes down at Supercuts. <laughs> no! I'm not <laughs> Why is she screaming? Look. <laughs> but watch, watch the attack. Like, oh, oh! She's a crazy person. They're just trying to get their hair done right now. with you, bitch? He just ruined dinner, though. Yes, he ruined dinner. All right, today's guest was made famous by the Jersey Shore. He went on to have his own spinoff, and he is a world famous DJ, the one and only DJ Polly D. This is DJ Pauly D. Being a Guido's a way of life. Get crazy, get wild, let's party, get loud. If you wanna have fun, then do something. If you wanna have fun, then do something. Bam, there you go, Pauly D. Let's party, get loud. If you wanna have fun, then do something. If you wanna have fun, then do something. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm 
I'm gonna say, it's not often that we have that level of cheering for somebody, you know what I mean? I would argue to say that's the most ever. You wanna know why? Because I think you live the funnest life humanly possible. I can't argue with that. I mean, you got a great crowd though. You got a great crowd. <laughs> Like, to me, of everybody on the Jersey Shore, like, everyone sort of played themselves out at one point or another. Maybe they ended up in rehab, maybe they cried. <laughs> maybe they had to think, like, you absolutely nothing. Like, it was just the time of your life all the way through everything. <laughs> all the way from, like, forget about, like, doing something random. You're DJing for Britney Spears to sign to G-Unit. <laughs> you know, all right, check it out. So while you're filming something like the Jersey Shore, where you live together, you eventually start messing with each other. Yeah, I mean, that's a, my favorite thing to do, actually. <laughs> Is it? Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's take a look at you waking up some of your roommates in an unusual way. Oh, yeah. Who comes early to sleep? Not me. Wake up, yeah, come from. I don't want anybody sleeping. You should not sleep. If I'm up, you gotta be up. <laughs> I, I think they drank a little bit more than you. You know what I'm saying? Yep, maybe. All right, the category, all oh, yeah, wake up, yeah. <laughs> I'm just sleeping in a tent. I got a couple of for friends. He said, you're gonna die! <laughs> you're gonna die! <laughs> it's just not nice. He's tired. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> look like Suge Knight, man. Yeah, you tell me that look like Suge Knight. You look so Suge Knight. <laughs> <laughs> Did somebody order a 7 a.m. devil call? <laughs> he was ready, ready for war. We're so lucky that there just happens to be a random ass bathtub. Oh, it's messed up. This is f***ed up. Why is this so f***ed up? I have my socks on. <laughs> Wait, he said he says I have socks on, but if you go back and look, his socks would be cleaned anyway. Uh, okay. <laughs> This next category is about those at the gym that should not be. Take a look. <laughs> it's called it's not working out. The worst spotters in the history of spotting. Am I good? You're good. Bad. They, they still not helping yeah. them. No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> no one can. Like, they knew it was a disaster from the beginning. They don't respect yeah. him, you know what I mean? He was like, they're like, you could never do 642. I could do 642. <laughs> do it then. people who've ever done it before me. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Seven years of skinny. One arm solo basement push up. You can stand up. You can stand up. You can stand up and go down. You can stretch it and lose an eye. Oh. I pick up chicks at the gym. Got this grip, strong, strong, strong. Now push, push and oh. <laughs> This isn't what I thought you meant by working out together. Toss it! Oh my God. I am so buff, I am so buff, I am so sleepy. <laughs> He flexed out. Okay, have you seen that before? Yes, all the time. He flexed out. What, like dudes in the gym, like, I'm just even in the Yeah, sometimes you're like flexing, you're like, bah! And he just flex out. <laughs> First time I've ever seen it, and now I know officially what it is, getting flexed out. Our guest today is a legend that needs no introduction. The leader of the Jackass crew and the star of one of the greatest Jackass films ever created, <laughs> Jackass Forever, the one and only Johnny Knoxville. All right. Nice to 
to be here. Okay, look, so also, uh, you were the second guest, true star that we've ever had on this show. Uh, that was exactly 10 years ago, almost to the wow. day. Wow. That's crazy. Right? Are you yeah. serious? 10 yeah. years is something, man. You guys have done a great job with this. Oh, I mean, Thank look, you. we should have been off the air seven years ago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Every year, it'd be like, this so oh, well, here it comes again. And we just keep rising from the ashes, you know what I mean? But look, you know, you guys really stopped for 10 years before you did this, this latest movie. What was it like, like, just trying to turn the sketchy engine back on? I've been writing the whole time, not knowing if I ever wanted to do another Jackass, but yeah. one day I woke up and I was just like, I want, I want to do another. Man, <laughs> I, I can't believe it. Because yeah. it's like, when I, when I think about it, it makes me tired thinking about it. Right, it's easier on me because I know 99.8% of everything that's happening. Yeah. Um, yeah, It's the guys who are on guard all the time. Yeah. And yeah. I, I know they can come at me, yeah. But that's going to make it real hard on them if they do. <laughs> so real. I'm here too. Yeah. But I wouldn't if I was you. Yeah. I feel somewhat sheepish to say this, but you know, after all these years, how how are your <laughs> balls? You know what I mean? They're absolutely delicious. Okay. Great. They're they're Great. better than ever. That wasn't quite the feeling uh, that I was searching for, right? But it makes a lot of sense. It it tells me that they're thriving. They're, th yes, they're you know thriving. What I mean? Because boy, they've been put through some work. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean? oh boy. Especially when you did the motorcycle, Evil Knievel stuff, did you let go of the bike? <laughs> I ditched the bike, and that's the one thing Travis said, whatever you do, don't let go of the bike, because it's going to turn into a missile and go up in the air and come down and hit you. Yeah. And boy, did it. What, what, what happened? Like, you didn't, you had to use it, a bag for years? What happened? My knees were behind my ears, and the bike hit me right between right in the gooch. It mm. broke its handlebars ah. off right in my gooch, ah, which okay. severed my urethra. Yeah. Because every time my heart would beat, blood would shoot out my pee pee. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I had a catheter two times a day for three and a half years. For three and a half years. Yeah. Man. And it was like a uh, catheter's this long. Oh yeah. my God. And it's like the size of a number two pencil. Mm -hmm. And you're dealing with something like that long. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. they give me way too much catheter. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need this. Oh, man. <laughs> you could have cut this in half and we'd be good. Oh, man. And you made it out, man. You're thriving. You I had two I mean? kids since then. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, it's a resilient package. Right? Yeah. 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 In the film, you did a a treadmill bit, you know, with a march. You all were a marching band. Yeah. And you basically marched your way onto an aggressively high speed treadmill where you knew you were getting annihilated, like yeah. no matter what. Like, what were you thinking as you took your first step on there? That, this is what I'm doing today. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so by the time I get to that point where I'm stepping on it, I'm already someplace else. <laughs> yeah, and look, and did, did you guys do test runs on that one? Like, at like... We, we, did a, we did a test run with Poopies, and he, he took a really nasty fall, and he couldn't participate in the oh, real no. run. <laughs> So, so we knew we had something. And that we had pads <laughs> down for poopies, but when we went, I'm like, you lose the pads. Yeah. Because yeah. we don't we don't do that. No, you and, don't, because pads, pads, and it, pads it cost, aren't jackass. It cost a couple of us. Uh, well, look, treadmills can be dangerous, not quite as dangerous as the jackass forever treadmill, but they can be sketchy. Take a look at dead mills. <laughs> don't think too soon. Don't think too soon. Okay. Oh. Oh. What did you Man. think was gonna happen? Why is she so shocked? Yeah, why is she so shocked? Like, <laughs> she really thought she was gonna land and just surf it right out. Yeah, but yeah. it's such a good, simple idea. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Don't think, just do. I might get that tattoo. Don't think, just do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you die on me. Oh, oh she died right on you, man. Okay. Um, like, like who's, not, who's supposed to not die here? Who might die here? Who's he talking to? <laughs> Don't, oh, she looked like she choked herself. Okay. It's like you put a spell on like, her. Rick, like Rick. Hey, I hate to say it, Rick. She died on you. Yeah. yeah. Like, legit. <laughs> Anything for twenty bucks. Oh wow. That's the tiniest treadmill I've ever seen, by the way. And they didn't move his legs at all. He just jumped on it. But effective. I'm asleep now. <laughs> You got some good speed going. There's no like, chance. He's not dressed There's for There's no before. chance. You dress for prep school. Oh, OK. Oh. Yeah. Scorpion. Yeah. Harry Potter got some permanent damage on that one. We'll be right back with more Ridiculous Day.